Oh, the year review is back. Are you ready for another epic year? Fasten your seatbelt and let's get this video started. Since I haven't done a year review in the last two years, I will take the best moments from the last one and a half years. Like always, after an intense winter season, it was time for some holidays, so I went to Bali. I was basically surfing every day and my surf skills are improving as well. Oh my god! Straight after my holidays in Bali, I got invited by Real Madrid to watch the Champions League final. But at the entrance, our ticket got stolen, the thief wanted to run away. Obviously, he was not faster than me. I chased him down, he got arrested by the police. We watched the Champions League final. Next morning, I wake up and a photo of me is all over the news. After five years, we finally have our own airbag in Switzerland. We, the Swiss Freeski team, fought really hard for this project. So it's amazing to see this project getting into reality. Three years ago, Roger Federer reposted my video and sent me a message on Instagram. He has always been one of the biggest role models of mine. So in summer, when I met him, an absolute dream came true. And me as a fanboy, I obviously had to ask him for a quick selfie. I'm so thankful to live in Switzerland, so I partnered up with Swiss Tourism and we did a funny commercial where I skied into the train. I never skied in front of such a big crowd. Big Air Cour was absolutely crazy. When 15,000 people are shouting your name, that's a surreal feeling. I can tell you that. Can't wait for the next edition. Whoa, let's go. Whoa. I published my first book. I'm not gonna lie, I was really nervous to release Attack Your Dreams at the age of just 24. I had many doubts, but I am so happy about the positive outcome of the book and Attack Your Dreams was over two months in the bestseller list in Switzerland. Let's fucking go! I crashed my first run in the Slopestyle World Cup final in Stubai, so it felt even better landing my last and final run under all the pressure. This is why I do it. I love that feeling when you land your perfect run and I took home the second place in the first Slopestyle World Cup of the season. And I also met the skateboarding legend Tony Hawk. Together with him, we were inspiring the next generation for freestyle sports. Life is crazy. Two decades ago, I was at home here playing his video game. And now, we're both ambassadors for La Rea Sport Foundation. Dream big! After six years of creating videos on YouTube, more than 250 uploads, we finally broke the 100,000 subscribers mark on YouTube and this wouldn't have been possible without you guys so I want to thank every single one of you for watching my videos. My brother John, Robin and I put our heart and soul into this project. The documentary Come Back Stronger was over one year in the making and at this time of my life I was probably at my lowest, it was a very hard time but I'm very proud how I mastered that challenge and I think the documentary turned out freaking awesome. If you haven't watched it yet, you know what you have to do. For the first time free skiing was part of the Lux Open. Having a home World Cup in Lux was an absolute dream come true. I mean, this is the park where I did my first 360, my first rail slide, and so on. It couldn't have ended better for me. Winning the first Lux Open in front of a home crowd was such an unreal day for me. Yeah!
This video got 310 million views, 5 million likes. Yes, you heard that right. This summer we created my most successful YouTube video ever. And this jump into the pool was quite scary. And even my brother had to do it with his phone in his hand. And the craziest part about all of this is that now we reached 800,000 subscribers on YouTube. Let's get that golden play button this year. What can he get done here? He needs the run of his life. Time to, even possible. time to spare on it as well. On his back and... Oh, oh my also goodness. Perfect. Wait, what? A trampoline in a slope style course? That event is called Play Streets and it's so much fun and such a creative slope style course and I am super stoked about the run I laced there which put me in second place. This was now the third time getting second. The next time we go there, we aim for the first place. In 2021, I became world champion, but I left injured with my biggest ever challenge to face in my career. I didn't know if I would ever reach the same level again. My doctors had doubt and including myself. So to win two years later another bronze medal at the World Championships felt amazing. After that we went to Tigné in France where I ended up in third place again. Every Slopestyle World Cup I entered that season I ended up on the podium, which I'm very proud about. I got this Ronaldo shirt from a friend of mine and I took the shirt and did the Ronaldo Sumu celebration over a jump with skis. I posted the video on social media and it instantly blew up with millions of views and then the impossible happened. CR7 saw the video and he commented it with a heart emoji. I still can't believe it. That's crazy. Yeah, life goal achieved. That trick was scary. I did my first triple backflip late 180 at the nines. And with the homies we did a hand in hand front flip which turned out super sick. The video is my most engaged Instagram post with over 1 million likes. That's insane! Last slope style World Cup of the season, I decked in the pipe, crashed, broke my rib. The doctor told me I'm not allowed to do sport for the next two weeks. That's why I bought a PS5 and started playing Fortnite. I entered my first running competition, 10 km in 39 minutes and 40 seconds. Not too bad for two weeks of training and a half broken rib. <laughs> and I have a world record with nine backflips on skis in under 30 seconds. Well, the world record is actually not proven, but I don't think there's anyone else out there doing more backflips in that short time. World record, world record. <laughs> I bought some grind shoes and I tried to slide a 60 meter street rail. I was failing and failing and failing. But after two days and 462 tries, I finally made it happen. And a funny side note, Mark Zuckerberg liked the video too. <laughs> It's crazy how far we have come and it makes me proud. When I quit ski racing and started freestyle skiing, they made jokes. This sport has no future. You will never be able to have a real career. But I always had this vision and dream that I could do it. And we did it. But the crazy part is, we're just getting started. I still have a vision. It's an even bigger vision. I can see it so clearly. So let's attack 2024 and make it the greatest year ever. Special thanks to all of you guys for watching the videos and supporting me throughout the last years. You guys are so important to me. All this wouldn't be possible without you guys. Alright, that's it. Take care, see you guys in the next one. Peace out!